Today we're going to calculate the percent increase or decrease for data in Excel. I made some mock data here for January through December for shirt sales. All right, so we can't actually calculate any data for January because we don't have any previous data. The very first piece of data will not have a percent increase or decrease. So we'll start with February. So we're going to click in the cell for February. We're going to type the equals symbol. Then we're going to click on the shirt sales for February. And then we're going to hit the divided by key, which is near the bottom part of the keyboard on the near the right shift button. And then we're going to click on the shirt sales for January. And then we will simply subtract one, so minus one. So this is how your formula is going to look. Equals February, or in your case, will be like the new piece of data, divided by January, or for you, be the, the previous piece of data, minus 1, and then hit enter. All right, so you see we have a 0 0.02 or 2% increase. Now, most people don't like seeing it in decimal form. They want to see it in percent form. So make sure you're under the Home tab, and then click right here where you see it says Number. Click on this drop down, and you can change it to percent right here. Now you see it says 2.40%. If you want more decimal places, you can click this little arrow on the left, give you more. If you want less, you can click right here. Let's just do 2.4%. That's fine. And now to complete our data, there's two different ways you can do it. You see on the bottom right of this cell, there's a little uh, square, it looks like. If you hover your cursor over that, your cursor turns into a plus sign. So now we can click and we can hold down on the mouse. And while you're still holding, you can drag it down to the end of your data and then release. And just like that, we've calculated the percent increase or decrease. But actually, there's another way you can complete the data, which is even simpler. Once again, if you're on this 2.4%, click on the cell. This little green box shows up. You're going to just hover over it until you get the plus sign again for the cursor and just double click. And just like that, we have the percent increase or decrease for our data in Excel. Please feel free to comment below. And if you like these videos, I'm going to be uploading more. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you.